Hi guys and welcome back. This is your host Omar back with Tutorials Hub and today we are about to be discussing Bolt.new versus Lovable which is better. So in our previous videos we in detail talked about both of these platforms, how they work, how you can sign in, what are the pricing for both of these and what are the capabilities. So now we're going to be doing a side by side comparison for both of these and you can see let's just actually do them side by side. So it makes much more sense. I'm going to use the full screen here and just like that, just wait for a couple of seconds. We are going to be getting. All right. So here, as you can see, we did got our calculator uh, in here. And once I simply, so we did got our um, bolt on the left side and we have our lovable on the right side so I asked both of these softwares to build a calculator and what I immediately noticed if you watched our previous video that uh, the calculator created on bolt is much more on the simpler side and we do not have the ability to specifically target specific buttons so I just type let me just type in here change the uh, maybe let's just say uh, change the orientation for the button. So let's just type in here that change the orientation uh, for the buttons and I'm gonna be hitting enter. So this is see how it is gonna be coming up with and what buttons it is gonna be changing. So just wait for a couple of seconds. You can see the code is running. You can even see it in real time the modifications and everything that is going on. And if I scroll down, you can see we have uh, various other features and options in here. So, yeah. Let's just try to um, wait. And by the way, if you do not have uh, watched our previous video on bolts.new, uh, I highly recommend that. Okay, so it came up with this. I don't know. This looks really silly. Uh, the placement for the buttons. But it did the job what I told it to do. It changed the orientation for the... Uh, calculator let's just also tell it to change uh, the maybe um, page style and choose bright colors bright and dark colors so we can have uh, much more easier on the eyes to see Let's just see. Meanwhile, it is going to do its job. Let's just do some modifications on Lovable AI. So I have this really nice feature of uh, simply targeting. So you can see you can inspect your app that it just created and you can uh, modify that. You can even choose multiple if you want. So you can see this is say I want to change these buttons or stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to be changing maybe the page style for the background. Let's just tell it to change the background to something um, bright and dark. Let's just hit enter and wait for a couple of seconds until it is going to do its job. On the left side you can see we already came up with our new color scheme and this looks way way better and i uh okay so let's just ask it to incorporate this history feature that lovable just introduced i am really liking it so you can see once i press on history it is going to show all of our calculations that i have done in the uh, past so let's just tell it to uh add a history uh feature in this calculator so let's just press enter and wait until it is going to make the changes so we have our history and in this section i'm going to be uh, simply um telling it to simply uh maybe make the history feature more uh, efficient let's just type that now, meanwhile, I'm doing and entering all these prompts. Okay, so I just uh, came up, I just hit the maximum limit for today. But you got the idea, right? You can use the select feature to simply target anywhere. And by the way, I just forgot to tell you about how nice the background actually looks. And you can see this glass effect, the 
uh, glossy and you can say like background that it just provided I'm really liking it and yeah let's just see if it a uh, bolt came up with the history feature okay we got our history feature and the icon looks really good so it used an icon that is way more practical and also consumes a small amount of area let's just uh, do some calculations really quickly uh, 64 multiplied by 2 equal and 25 plus 25 by the way the orientation is messed up because of my prompt but anyway we're going to be checking this history feature okay so you can see that this actually looks really really good and it did a really nice job now you can also tell lovable to uh, modify the feature as well but both of these are doing really really uh, you can say like Mm, comparison here and the competition is tight and I'm going on the bold side since this kind of history uh, preview is really great you can even clear the history so that is really amazing you even have this no history yet and cross it simply start with your new um, calculations and maybe you want to do 8 multiplied by 2 who knows and if you press on history everything is displayed in here nicely okay on the other hand we did got our uh, calculator on lovable as well the history is not that efficient I wanted to change it but yeah you can actually uh, you can actually change it so that's not an issue and yeah now the decision is yours which one is gonna be providing you the best experience you can try it for yourself as well for my personal opinion I think uh, bolt is actually really good but you can see uh, the color selections and uh, by default the uh, calculator is looking really good on lovable as well so I'm gonna go with bold but you can make your decision by simply checking and trying out for yourself as well and if you have any questions or suggestions you can uh, let us know the one thing that I really like about lovable is this selecting feature you can target it and change that specific thing or if you want to change the entire page or calculator or maybe whatever you are uh, designing weather app game or whatsoever you can uh, do that generally using this uh, prompt option really easy to put that on we have our attach file attachment feature as well in both of these softwares and yeah this looks really good so i recommend trying both of these and also make sure to watch our previous videos where we talked in detail about both of these softwares and yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you have any suggestions thoughts or queries feel free to um, write them in the comments below stay tuned see you in the next video